Yoga Club Hello and welcome to Yoga Club. We are celebrating rainbows and adventures in our Yoga Club today. We begin with a bear hunt followed by heading somewhere over the rainbow with the Wizard of Oz. Oh, two cracking yoga adventures that I just hope you enjoy. Now, I'll see you after our bear hunt adventure with a couple of lovely shout outs. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie, and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves that I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always begin in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. And today we've got a special adventure. We're going on a bear hunt. Yes, we're going on a bear hunt by Michael Rosen. It's an amazing poem and we're going to bring it to life with lots of yoga poses. Let's begin by coming up to stand and beginning with a march. Here we go. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. Jump your feet wide, take your arms wide, making yourself as huge as you can. What a beautiful day. Jump your feet together, reach up to the sun and say, hello, sun. Now bring your hands to your hips. We're not scared, are we? No way, shaking our head from side to side. Uh-oh, grass. Bring your feet together and stretch your arms above your head, bringing your palms to touch. It's long, wavy grass, leaning from one side all the way over to the other. Oh dear, we can't go under it. Coming down onto your bellies, everyone. Lying as flat as you can, hands under your shoulders and curl your shoulders up. No, we can't go under it. We can't go over it. Come up onto your hands and knees, tuck your toes and press your bottoms to the sky. We have to go through it. Coming up to stand, everyone. Now bring your hands to your hips and see if you can lift up one of your legs. Try not to wobble. Now kick your leg forwards and backwards, going swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. And let's turn to the other side. Here we go. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. Yay, we got there. Let's carry on. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. Jump your feet wide, arms wide. What a beautiful day. Jump your feet together, reach up to the sun and say, hello, sun. Now bring your hands to your hips. We're not scared, shaking our heads. No way. Uh-oh, a river. Wrap your arms around yourself and shiver. It's a deep, cold river. We can't go under it. Down onto your bellies, everyone, and curl your shoulders up into your snake pose. Mm, we can't go over it. Tuck your toes, hands and knees, and press your bottoms up to the sky. We have to go through it. Now lower all the way down onto your bellies. Oh, it's cold in this river. And we start to swim. We go splashy, sploshy, splashy, sploshy. Well done, everyone. Coming up to stand. Phew! We made it through the river. Let's carry on. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. Jump your feet wide, arms wide. 
What a beautiful day. Jump your feet together, reach up to the sun and say, hello, sun. Now bring your hands to your hips and shake your head as you say, we're not scared, no way. Uh-oh, mud. Lifting up one leg and putting it down. Lifting up the other leg and putting it down. Thick, oozy mud. Hmm, we can't go under it. Coming onto your bellies, everyone. All the way down, then wriggle up your shoulders. Uh-uh, we can't go over it. Coming up onto hands and knees, tuck your toes and lift your hips all the way up. We have to go through it. Now, coming up to stand, everyone, we're going to take big, squelchy steps through this mud. Ready? Squelch. And again, squelch. And again, squelch. And again, squelch. Wow, we made it. Coming up to stand, let's carry on. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. Jump your feet wide, arms wide. Wow, what a massive bear. What a beautiful day. Jump your feet together, reach up to the sun and say, hello, sun. Now bring your hands to your hips as you shake your head and say, we're not scared, no way. Uh-oh, a forest. Coming into tree pose, everyone. One foot on top of the other, hands together and grow your tree up tall. Hmm, it's a big, dark forest. Oh dear, we can't go under it. Coming down onto your bellies, everyone. Hands under your shoulders and wriggle on under. Uh-uh, we can't go over it. Coming up onto all fours, tuck your toes and press your bottom up to the sky. We have to go through it. Coming up to stand and let's try our tree pose on the other side. Bring your other foot on top of your foot using your heel and bring your hands together. Now grow your big dark forest of trees all the way up and open your branches. Now I wonder if I can blow you trees down and make you stumble and trip. You stay tall and strong and I'll have a go. Here I come. Doopy doopy dee doo. I can't, you're too strong. Well done you, you're amazing. Let's carry on. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. Jump your feet wide, arms wide. What a beautiful day. Jump your feet together and reach up to the sun saying, hello, sun. Now bring your hands to your hips and turn your head from side to side saying, we're not scared, no way. Uh-oh, a snowstorm. Jump your feet wide arms wide and begin to spin. Oh, it's a swirling, whirling snowstorm. We can't go under it. Coming down onto your bellies, everyone, as flat as you can, hands under your shoulders and lift yourself up. We can't go over it. Coming up onto all fours, tuck your toes and press your hips up into the sky. We have to go through it. Now look between your hands, bend your knees and jump your feet and cross your legs. Yes, well done everyone. Now crisscross your fingers, bring them behind your head and like a washing machine, we're going through this snowstorm. Here we go. Woo hoo, woo hoo, woo hoo, woo hoo, woo hoo. Wow, well done everyone. Coming up to stand. Come on, let's carry on. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. Jump your feet wide, arms wide. What a beautiful day. Jump your feet together, reach up to the sun and say, Hello, 
sun. Now bring your hands to your hips and shake your head. We're not scared. No way. Uh-oh. A cave. Jump your feet wide, take your arms wide and bring them above your head, coming into your cave pose. It's a damp, gloomy cave. We can't go under it. Coming all the way down onto your knees and onto your bellies. Curl your shoulders up and wriggle under. No, we can't go over it. Tuck your toes, hands and knees and press your hips up to the sky. We have to go through it. Coming up to stand, everyone. It's very damp and drippy, so we tiptoe. In. Ooh, very damp and drippy. What's that? We stop and we put our hands out to feel. Bringing your fingers to your nose. Hmm. One wet, shiny nose. Hmm. We take our fingers to our ears. Two big, furry ears. Hmm. Then we cup our hands and put them over our eyes. Two big goggly eyes. Then we lower our hands and we hear the most enormous roar. Coming down to your knees, everyone. After three, a big roar, sticking your tongue out. Ready? One, two, three. Roar! Everyone, quick, tiptoe back through the cave. Oh, now through the snowstorm, crossing our legs, crisscrossing our fingers behind our heads. Woo hoo, woo hoo, woo hoo, woo hoo. Back through the forest, coming into your tree pose. One foot on top of the other, your hands together. Grow up tall, Ooh, try not to wobble through the thick oozy mud, coming to stand and squelch, and the other way, squelch. Now we need to swim back through the river, coming onto your bellies everyone, and swim, splashy, sploshy, splashy, sploshy. Now that long wavy grass, coming up to stand, Finding your balance, here we go. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. And the other way. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. We get back to our front door, coming down to our knees. And take your leg out to the side. Bring your hand up to the sky. We open the front door. Ooh. In we go. We run inside, up the stairs. Oh no, we forgot to shut the front door. Coming back down the stairs, back to the door on our knees, taking our other leg out to the other side this time, reaching your arm up and close the front door. Ooh. Coming back up to stand everyone and run, 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 run up the stairs into our bedrooms where we get into our beds. Oh, down we go, lying on our backs, resting our arms down. We pull the covers all the way up, snuggling ourselves under. And we say to ourselves, we are never going on a bear hunt again. Ah, oh, this feels so nice. Here we are, back in our beds, safe as can be, happy to be taking a little bit of a rest after all of our adventuring today on our bear hunt. And would you believe we found one? Isn't it amazing? But we were warned and maybe next time we won't be so, so keen to go running after bears. And we lie here 
We rest our bodies, our brains, our minds, and we let ourselves enjoy the peace. And now it's time to wake up. We wiggle our fingers and our toes. We bring our knees into our chest and give them a hug. And we roll over onto our side to come up to sit with our legs crossed. We bring our hands together at our hearts and we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for being so brave and coming on the bear hunt with me. You were amazing. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. Well, wasn't that fun? And we made it back in one piece too. Phew. Now for a shout out or two. Hello to Eliana, who is seven, and younger brothers Lachlan, who is five, and Hudson, who is three. I love your ideas, Eliana, to have the Incredibles doing some yoga. Elastigirl, Violet, Dash, and Mr. Incredible, they would do brilliant poses, some great ideas. And we'd have a real, real hero's adventure with them too. I'll see if I can do that one. And before we head to Oz, Hello to Manju and daughter Sarangi who love the yoga and do it every day. Amazing. Sarangi wanted to suggest a new yoga adventure about Sophia the first, which sounds really, really inspiring. Thanks Sarangi for that. Now I'll be back after our Wizard of Oz adventure for more shout outs, but do remember you can always message me here at yoga club at cosmickids.com. That's the email address. Now let's head over to that rainbow. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now, today we've got an exciting story. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Oz, which is why I've got Dorothy hair. But first, we need to go and meet Dorothy, who lives in Kansas. To get there, we're going to use some special magic. Bring your hands back together again, and we're going to say there's no place like home three times with our eyes closed. Here we go. Close your eyes. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. We open our eyes to find we're here, on the farm, where Dorothy lives with her Aunt Em and Uncle Henry. We see Belinda, the chicken, coming into chicken pose. Up onto your tippy toes and see if you can balance. Oh, trying not to wobble. Bring your hands onto your hips and take your elbows back like you're a clucky chicken, going very good, everyone. And look, coming up to stand, there's Toto, the dog, Dorothy's lovely little pet dog. Let's come into dog pose. Coming down onto your hands and knees, spread your fingers, tuck your toes, and lift your bottoms up to the sky in your dog pose, going woof, 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 woof. We come back down to sit to find Dorothy singing about somewhere over the rainbow. Let's come into rainbow pose. High up on your knees, arms wide. Drop down onto one hand and stretch your leg out to the side. Then reach your arm up and over your ear. Dorothy wishes that she lived somewhere over the rainbow where that nasty lady who lives in the next door village wouldn't be so mean to Toto. Coming into rainbow on the other side. Two knees together arms wide. Drop down onto your hand the other side and stretch your leg out. Then reach your arm up and over your ear as you sing. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. Oh my, look, 
up to the sky, everyone. It's starting to rain. Pitter-patter on your heads and all over the top and the back, down your chest, on your legs and your arms. Oh, my goodness, it's a big storm coming. There are claps of thunder. Coming up to stand, take your feet a little bit wider and your arms wide and clap your hands above your head. Here we go. Ooh. And again. Ooh. And last time. Ooh. Goodness me, the wind's starting to blow as well. Starting to spin around and around. It's a tornado and it's picking up Dorothy's house while she's inside it with Toto. Dorothy hides on her bed. Coming into bed pose, down onto your bottoms, bend your knees, feet flat, hands behind you. Lift your bottom up, coming into bed pose. Look, out the window, there's that mean lady from the village. She's riding a bicycle in the sky. Lying on your backs, crisscross your fingers and put them behind your head. Lift up your legs and pedal your legs like you're riding a bicycle. She's cackling like a witch. But she's not riding a bicycle anymore. She's on a broomstick with a black hat. She really is a witch. Coming into broomstick pose. Lying on your tummies, everyone, as flat as you can go. Then take your arms down by your side and lift your feet and chest up at the same time, going whoosh. Let's do a cackle like a witch. Oh, my goodness me. The house lands with a bunny hop bump. Coming up onto your hands and knees, tuck your toes, spread your fingers wide, arms straight. Lift your bottom up and do a little hop. One, two, three, hop, bump. Walk your hands back to your feet and then roll your body up very slowly. Dorothy comes up to stand and she brushes herself down. What just happened? She opens up the door of her house, coming into door pose. Two knees, take your leg to the side and take your arm to the sky. Now open up the door. She closes the door behind her, coming to two knees again. Take your other leg to the other side, reach your arm up and close the door. Now, Dorothy steps outside into a very strange and colourful world. It's certainly not Kansas. And floating towards her is a sparkly bubble. Bring your feet together. Bring your hands around your mouth and blow up your sparkly bubble. Ready? <sighs> the bubble floats, tilting from side to side towards her. And as it gets really close, it pops in sparkly light, coming down onto your tippy toes. And after three, let's jump with a pop. One, two, three, pop! Oh my goodness me! Standing before her is the most beautiful lady. She looks a bit like a fairy godmother. And she's got wings. Take your hands behind your back into prayer hands or namaste hands like this. Then you can see you've got some lovely little wings. Very good, everyone. She does a lovely curtsy. Stepping to the side, take your other foot behind and bend and bow, coming into your curtsy. She stands up tall and says, I am Glinda, the good witch of the north. And then she curtsies again to the other side. Step your other foot wide, take your foot behind and bend, curtsying low. She stands up tall again and says, Thank you, Dorothy, for you have killed the Wicked Witch of the East. Dorothy stands very still, feeling very confused. But I would never kill anything or anyone, not even a Wicked Witch. But Glinda points to the house. Jump your feet wide, hands above your head coming into house pose. And sure enough, sticking out from underneath the house are two legs. Coming down to lie on your back, with your arms out wide and send your legs up to the sky. These two legs are wearing a pair of beautiful ruby red slippers. Coming up to stand, everyone. Oh no, what have I done, thinks Dorothy. But Glinda swooshes her wand. She steps one foot forward, one foot back and bends her knee. 
She straightens out her arms and she swooshes her wand away. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Then she jumps her feet the other way. Whoop. And she does it the other side too. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Jump your feet together. <gasps> All of a sudden, Dorothy is wearing the ruby red slippers. Linda explains that this is the safest place for them as the Wicked Witch of the West will want them. She is the alive sister of the dead witch who is under the house and she will want them for their power. <gasps> All of a sudden, there's a puff of green smoke crouching down on your tippy toes, everyone. After three, let's do a big puff. One, two, three, puff! And there, standing before her, is the Wicked Witch of the West. Coming into witch pose with your craggy fingers and toes. And yes, she says to Dorothy, give me those slippers. Dorothy stands very still, feeling very afraid. But she can't get the slippers because of the magic that Glinda's put on them. The witch goes again, coming back into witch pose. She says, I'll get you next time, my pretty, and your little dog. <laughs> and she disappears in a puff of green smoke coming down onto your tippy toes and a big jump with a puff. One, two, three, poof! Oh my goodness me, Dorothy stands up. Oh, all she wants to do is go home, back to Kansas. Glinda tells her the only one that can help her is the Wizard of Oz. And to find him, she must follow the yellow brick road through Munchkinland. Dorothy takes a big deep breath in and out. And she begins her journey with Toto along the yellow brick road, skipping. Follow the yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Along the way, she meets some friends. She meets a scarecrow. Bring your feet together and take your arms out wide. Now see if you can drop your arms from your elbows and make them swing and dangle a little bit. The scarecrow can talk. He says, hello there, all right. Yeah, I'm just a scarecrow, but uh, I really wish I had some brains, you see, instead of all the straw in my head. Dorothy thinks, well, maybe the wizard can help him. So she invites him along on the journey and they skip together. Follow the yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Along the way, they also meet a tin man who's chopping wood. Turning to the side, take your feet wide and crisscross your fingers behind your back. Stretch your arms out behind you and fold forwards as you say chop. Ready? One, two, three. Chop! And up. And again, one, two, three, chop! And up, last time, one, two, three, chop! And all the way up. The Tin Man wishes that he could feel things. He wishes that he had a heart instead of a tin body. Dorothy thinks maybe the Wizard of Oz can help, so she invites him along on the journey. They skip together. <laughs> Follow the yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Then they meet a lion who roars at them loudly like a bully. Coming into lion pose, everyone. Down on your knees. After three, let's do a big lion face with a roar. Ready? One, two, three. Rah! Dorothy stands up with her hands on her hips and she tells him off for being such a bully. At which point, he comes down into a cat pose on his hands and knees and starts crying. <laughs> I'm just a scaredy pussy cat. He sits back on his heels with his little paws up and he says, I just wish I had some real c -c 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 courage. Dorothy thinks that maybe the Wizard of Oz can help. So she invites him along on the journey too. And they all skip together. Up we come everyone, and let's skip. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. They finally arrive in Oz, at the Wizard of Oz's castle. Coming down onto your knees and take hold of your elbows, the little door opens to reveal a mean face. What do you want? Dorothy tells them about their journey. At first he says, 
go away. But after she tells him how long they've journeyed, he lets them in. So they get to go and see the wizard. Coming up to stand, everyone. Jump your feet wide and your arms wide. The wizard is an enormous head with sparkly fire all around him. Wiggle your fingers, making it like sparkly fire. She tells them what they all wish for and he says he can grant their wishes if they bring him the Wicked Witch of the West's broomstick. Jump your feet together, stand very still. Dorothy takes a big deep breath. She will do it and all of them head to the Wicked Witch of the West's castle. They go through a haunted forest. Coming into tree pose, one foot on top of the other using your heel, bring your hands together at your heart. Grow your haunted tree up nice and tall and spread your spooky branches going. And let's do our spooky trees on the other side. Taking your other foot on top now, your hands together, grow your spooky tree up and spread those branches. And let me hear your ghosty noises. Oh, you're very spooky haunted trees. Along the way, the witch is watching them through her crystal ball. Sitting on your bottoms with your legs crossed. Bring your elbows down in front of you and look through your crystal ball. Ah, I see where they come. I will send my winged monkeys to catch Dorothy and her little dog, Toto. All of a sudden, the winged monkeys appear. Coming into your winged monkey pose, everyone. Standing up tall, feet together, fold halfway forwards and bring your hands down. Then lift and lower your monkey wings, going They grab Dorothy and Toto and bring them back to the Wicked Witch of the West's castle. Sitting on your bottoms, take your legs out long. The witch grabs hold of one of the ruby slippers on Dorothy's feet and she shakes it and she tugs it and she pulls it. Why won't it come off? And then she puts it down and she tries the other one, picking that one up too. I just want this ruby slipper. And then she realises, I'll just have to kill you. At which point, Toto escapes to go and find Dorothy's friends to save her. Coming into dog pose, everyone, on your hands and knees. Spread your fingers wide, tuck your toes, and lift your bottom up to the sky into dog pose, going woof, 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 woof. Coming up to stand, everyone. Toto finds the scarecrow, the tin man, and the lion, and all of them tiptoe on their tippy tippy tiptoes into the Wicked Witch of the West's castle. <gasps> They see some winky guards and they defeat them, stealing their uniforms. They shimmy into them. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Now they can go in unnoticed, marching. Marching, 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 marching. They find Dorothy all tied up. Cross one leg over the other, bend your knees, arms wide, scissor your arms and lift your underneath arm, swizzle them round and sit yourself down like you're all tied up. Help, help. Let's do it on the other side. Unravel yourself and spread the other one over now. Bend your knees, take your arms wide, scissor them with the other way waving with the underneath arm and twizzle them round to sit down. Help! Help! They untie Dorothy. Phew! But just as they do, the Wicked Witch of the West comes in and she says, Not so fast, my pretty. She then puts her hands up and out of her hands come two big balls of fire. Yeah! She sets fire to the scarecrow. He runs around in a circle. Help! I'm on fire! Help me! Ow! Dorothy calms herself. She walks around, comes to stand, and she takes a big deep breath in through her nose and out through her mouth. She folds halfway forwards to pick up a bucket of water. She steps one foot forward, one foot back, bends her knee, and then throws the bucket of water all over the scarecrow, putting out the flames. But the water, standing up tall, hits the witch as well. 
snow begins to melt. I'm melting, melting into a puddle of goo on the floor. The winky guards jump for joy. Coming up onto your tippy toes, everyone, and do a big joyful whoop into the sky. One, two, three, woohoo! To say thank you, they give Dorothy the Wicked Witch of the West's broomstick. Coming up to stand back at the castle. The wizard isn't being very fair. He's not going to keep his promises. And while they argue, Toto goes to the curtain, folding halfway forwards where the wizard is standing. He brings his paws together using the backs and he spreads the curtain wide. Shoo! And there, there isn't a grand wizard at all. There is just a tiny little normal man. Coming down onto your knees, everyone. He wraps his arms around himself and he asks for forgiveness. I'm sorry. I'm just a normal man. He sits back. To say sorry, he does something really nice. He gives the scarecrow a diploma to show him how clever he is. He gives the lion a medal to show how brave and courageous he's been. And he gives the tin man a heart-shaped ticking clock. See if you can bring your fingers into a little heart shape. Yay! And he agrees to help Dorothy get home to Kansas using his hot air balloon. Sitting on your bottoms with your legs crossed, he cups his hands around his mouth and he begins to blow it up, breathing in and blow. But all of a sudden, Toto sees something coming into dog pose. On your hands and knees, spread your fingers wide, tuck your toes and lift your bottoms to the sky with a little woof, 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 woof. He spots a cat coming into cat pose on all fours and wiggle waggle your pussycat tail. Now we all know what dogs do to cats. They chase them. Standing up on your feet, Dorothy runs after him. Toto, come back, we've got to go. But as she does, bring your feet back together, bring your arms up high, the balloon begins to float up into the sky without them. Oh no, Dorothy's missed her lift home. But Glinda, the good witch of the north, arrives and tells her that all will be fine. All you need to do, Dorothy, is click your heels together three times and think there's no place like home. There's no place like home when you're ready, Dorothy. With tears in her eyes, Dorothy wraps all of her friends up with a big hug. She opens her arms again and she's ready to return home. So, coming up onto your tiptoes, she clicks her heels three times. One, two, three. We lower them down. We close our eyes and we think, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. And when we open our eyes, we're back home in Kansas with Toto the dog, Belinda the chicken, Aunt Em and Uncle Henry. Dorothy takes a well-earned lie down in her bed, coming down to lie on our beds, sitting all the way down. Lie down, Toto. Lie down. 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 Good boy. As we lay here, we relax. And we think about what the amazing story was that we just did, going to Oz. And how there really is no place like home. And that often we've got all we need right here, all along. We lie here. And we feel happy to be where we are right now knowing that home is where our heart is. We feel really centered and happy when we're here. But now it's time to wake up. We wiggle our fingers and our toes, opening our eyes. We come up to sit. And we cross our legs, bringing our Toto into our little lap as well. And we finish our yoga story just the way we started. 
with our secret yoga code word, which is namaste. Ready, hands together. After three, one, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for doing the Wizard of Oz story with me. You were amazing. And thank you, Toto, for coming along too. I hope you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. Welcome back! There really is no place like home and isn't it great the adventures we can have in our own living rooms and gardens. I just love that. Next a shout out to Gurkarat who turned six on February the 11th. Happy birthday! I am glad to hear you are enjoying your yoga so so much. Also thank you to Caleb and Dog Sunny in Melbourne for that brilliant yoga story idea where the Christmas tree comes alive, runs away, disappears, gets chased by a dog and gets stuck in the ground. What a fun adventure that would be. I love it, Caleb. And I love that picture of you and Sunny, who looks just like my dog, Minnie. Only Sunny looks a bit bigger. We also have our big dog, Spence, who's really lovely too. Both of them are Labradoodles, I think, like Sunny is. And I am working on that Octonauts adventure, I promise. Now it's time to get back into our yoga and mindfulness. I'll see you after the next video with one more lovely shout out. There, now we're ready to begin. And today we have a special fairy tale adventure. It's Jack and the Beanstalk, which is why I'm wearing my Jack hat. On the way to market, Jack and Delilah meet a mysterious wizardly looking man. Let's do our wizard pose. Stepping one foot forward, one foot back. We bend into our front knee, bring our hand on our back leg and sweep our top arm all the way up. Morning, Jack. Might I save you the trip to market and offer you these wonderful magical beans? He does his wizard pose on the other side. Then slowly they begin to grow up, lifting all the way up, rolling all the way, reaching up higher and higher to grow as tall and strong as a beanstalk tree. It goes right up into the clouds. Let's see if we can do our beanstalk tree pose on the other side. <gasps> into the kitchen stomps a ginormous giant. Let's do our giant pose. Up to stand, taking our legs nice and wide. We fold all the way forwards to grab our ankles as he comes stomping in. Let's lift one foot at a time as we say, stomp, stomp, stompity stomp, 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 stomp. We crisscross our fingers behind our back, stretch our arms back behind us, and after three, we fold forwards with a chop. Ready? One, two, three. Chop! And all the way back up. The beanstalk begins to lean one way. Taking our feet together, sweeping our arms up above our head, we lean all the way over one way. And then the other way, all the way over the other way. The giant notices it's starting to break, so he quickly scrambles back up it. And wasn't it good? that Jack was able to rescue the hen and the harp to give them a better life. And that now he and his mother have enough money to plant seed to grow a good crop, which will supply their whole community. How amazing. We feel pleased that they made it work. And at the same time, made the lives of the harp and the hen so much better. Today we're going to take a ride on a magic carpet so that we arrive at the next thing we're doing with a clear head. Our carpet is waiting for us, but it's hovering quite high up. So we reach up in flamingo pose to get it. Take one arm all the way up and bring your opposite foot up into your hand, seeing if you can bring your heel to your bottom. Ooh, try not to wobble. Now we can't quite get it on that side. So let's try with the other side. Lowering your foot back down and your arm down, reach your other arm up. 
And now see if you can catch hold of your other foot. Ooh, try not to wobble. Yes, uh, no, we still can't get it. So we put that foot down and we reach both hands up. Now, let's see if we can come high up onto our tippy tip toes. Oh, yeah, that's got it. We've got it. Now we slowly lower our heels back down and bend our knees as we press the magic carpet all the way down to the ground, coming into a little squat position. That's better. Now take your knees outside of your arms and sit back on your bottom and spread your legs nice and wide. So we've got that magic carpet held in place. Oh, it's starting to take off. We take our arms out to the side to help ourselves balance. Now we're gonna steer this carpet. We take our arm down to one side and then we stretch our other arm up and over our ear, maybe resting on our elbow. Oh, we're going right round the corner now. Let's go round the other corner. So we come back into the middle, arms wide, and then we stretch down onto the other side, placing our hand down, our elbow down, and then lifting our top arm up and over our ear. Wow, this is so cool. We're really enjoying this little ride. We come back to the centre. I think we should try and go a bit faster, don't you? Take your arms behind you and then keep your chest nice and open as you slowly fold forwards. Maybe bringing your hands now in front of you, but keeping your chest open, your shoulders back. Maybe you come down onto your elbows. Maybe you take your chest all the way down to the ground. Wherever you are, pause here and breathe. We're going so fast. We walk our hands back and we're starting to get up into the clouds. We take our arms wide and we start to steer ourselves around and around, weaving in and out of the clouds. And we go the other way as well. Way! This is so much fun. We're coming high up into the sky where the air is so clear and fresh and slowly we come to stop as our magic carpet floats so easily we lie ourselves all the way back on it enjoying this lovely peaceful feeling of being carried in the fresh air our minds feel super clear our body feels calm and we feel ready for anything. We slowly come back up to sit and cross our legs, bringing our hands onto our knees. Our magic carpet has landed and so have we. Have a brilliant day everyone. Welcome back again. Well, I hope you are loving your Rainbows and Adventures Yoga Club. I have a final shout out to do, but before that, if you are watching on YouTube, I know you would love the Cosmic Kids app. Go and check it out at app.cosmickids.com and just see how many more yoga adventures are on there. Now, a final shout out today goes to Shiloh, who is seven and lives in Springboro, Ohio. Shiloh has had a marvelous idea to do Peter Pan as a yoga adventure. Oh, I would just so love to do that, Shiloh. Thank you so much for that wonderful idea and for writing in. Now, on we go. Enjoy the rest of our yoga club and I'll see you for the next yoga club with loads more shout outs. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. snake pose. Coming to lie on our tummies, we point our toes back behind us, our hands underneath our shoulders. We roll our shoulders back and we wiggle up like we're hissy snakes. Ready? Snake pose is a winner for strengthening our backs and opening our chests. It's a really lovely pose. Oh, hello. We're doing snake pose. You can join in if you like. 
Right, coming all the way down, we'll do it together. Putting your hands underneath... Oh, sorry, you haven't got any hands. You're a snake. Well, you can maybe show us how to do some good wiggling up. Yes, here we go. Wiggling all the way up. Snake pose. Peace out. Rainbow waterfall. Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. Your place to feel cosmically calm and ready for anything. To make your Peace Out work brilliantly, it's important that you feel super comfortable. So, let's do that now. Find yourself a spot. You can lie on your back or your front, or your side, or just sit. You decide. Find what feels good, and then get settled. Do any last fidgets or wriggles. That's it. Just so you feel happy to be still for a few minutes. That's all it is. Just a few magic minutes and your body and brain will be a bit stronger. If you do a few minutes every day, you'll soon start to notice how much happier and stronger you feel. Maybe try it for a few days and see for yourself. I really like it. Let's get ready to open the special door in our mind so we can go on a fun journey. Start with your eyes open and take some big deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. That's it. And the next time you breathe out, let your eyes softly close. Well done. Now, make sure your body is as floppy as can be. Your arms and legs so heavy that if I picked them up, they would feel like cooked spaghetti. That's super floppy. Now you're as floppy as can be and your eyes are closed. Listen to the words and follow the journey. Letting the pictures appear in your mind. And if you can't see anything in your mind right away, don't worry. Just be peaceful. Breathe. Keep listening. And after a while, they will start to appear. Now we begin. You are standing in a forest. Everywhere you look, you see trees. Tall and sturdy brown tree trunks, with branches covered in bushy green leaves. The sunlight peeps through the leaves of the trees, making it look so magical. You hear rustling, and see a little squirrel, busy looking for something in the fallen leaves on the ground. Maybe she is making a nest, 
or looking for food, you think? She finds whatever she was looking for and darts up one of the huge tree trunks, running up the tree bark to her home in the trees. You carry on following the path that winds through the forest. It leads you to the side of a little stream. The water trickles along, bubbling and babbling over the pebbles. Where is it going, you wonder? You keep following alongside it on the path and the water flows even faster. Now you see where it's going. You hear it too. It whooshes over a big rock, making the most beautiful waterfall, which lands in a pool below. You climb down the side of the waterfall and sneak in behind the falling water to stand on a flat rock right behind it. Here you see the sunshine meet the waterfall and make an amazing rainbow right before your eyes. You take a breath and step forward into the waterfall and you feel the rainbow wash over your body. The water feels fresh and cool. And the colours, oh, the colours, they bring a magical warmth. You feel each colour run through you. Each one feels different. Notice how they feel in your body now. First, the red, then orange, now the yellow, and the green, blue. indigo, and lastly, violet. All the colours. You feel them all as they wash and flow through you. Your body feels lighter and sparkles as your worries disappear. Now you step back from the rainbow waterfall, feeling peaceful and clear. You're all dry too. It's magic. You smile and remember how the colours made the different feelings inside you. It's good to notice your feelings and also see where they come from. Your time here at the Rainbow Waterfall has helped you learn a bit more about your feelings and maybe even notice where in your body you felt them. It's time to return back again. Just notice your body right now. How it feels where you are lying or sitting where it touches the floor or the chair beneath you. See if you can hear any sounds around you. Take a big breath in and sigh out of your mouth. And gently open your eyes. As you begin to move, have a nice big stretch and just sit back for a moment. 
Ah. Uh, how is that? After your time doing Peace Out, maybe you feel a little different to how you did before. Possibly calmer, maybe even a little tired. Well done. Be pleased with yourself for taking this time to give your body and mind a special treat. This is Jamie saying peace out. <laughs>